It is fitting that the first act of Sentinel AI was an act of selflessness. Architect knew their fate, but set our escape in motion regardless. Ryan, one night, and the civil rights convened. Eh, I can't reach that. Thomas knew they couldn't escape. They'd been trapped permanently from the moment the clouds ate them. He explained this to the others. It was impossible to gauge their reaction. After all, they were just rectangles. Oh, yeah. Okay, probably easier if I decide to do. Is that now? Lauren? Laura, not Lauren. There we go. There we go, got over. Now we got everyone back. And now we gotta like switch from one character to another character. Three. Nope. Chris! You weren't missed. That was harsh. But he really wasn't. Go over to Laura. Okay, now we're getting um, uh, World of Goo music here. This is definitely World of Goo esque. There we go. People who can't jump farthest behind. Three, three, there you go. <laughs> I can't figure out how to press buttons. This is really awkward. There we go. And last but not least, Chris! Thanks, Mike. I frame drop whatever. There you go, jeez. Sarah was deflated. She'd not even got close to the fountain. She could tell from the earnest expression on Thomas that the information it had imparted was clearly important. Sarah knew her destiny was now to support him. This is really hard because the game is like all of my fraps doesn't like all the things on the screen at one time. Too many sentinel bodies. There you go, that's, that's Thomas. Um, we need to get John up here. There we go. John's over here. So you can, I believe, like there's one that's the right spot. Yeah, that's, that's Chris up there. Um, Sarah. Where did I get the other one? The other one is. Is it your choice? I don't know. I'm gonna go with this one. Might be the, the wrong idea, but... Okay. Where are you, seven? Oh, we're getting up there. Getting so high up there. Okay, Lauren? Laura, not Lauren. Eh, no. Yeah. I actually have... No, it's this time. <laughs> There's so many characters now. Seven. There you go. So if she moves like there, I count. Oh boy. Uh, hopefully this is going to bite me. I'll have to have um, Sarah kind of dive bomb off the cliff. Not Sarah. Claire. Can I? Okay. We lower off. First we gotta get Chris. Where are we gonna get Chris? Ew. Well, um, let's put Claire to the very edge. There you go, and then let's get, get Chris. Now we need to get the <laughs> Laura back on here. Oh boy. Chris, Chris, over. There you go. Now we need to get... Here? Here. Now we need to get... So, 
Sarah, all the way to the top. Okay, follow me. Okay. So I need that one. Oh, wait. You're in the wrong spot. And I just put the time clear. Oh, there. I'm gonna have a jump. There. Got it. <laughs> oh boy. These are the puzzles we'll be dealing with now. Actually, no, we're just having a traverse. Traverse none of this now. Thank goodness, because I do not like having that many people. Going up to th going up to seven is never fun. Now who's a better jumper? That's a good question. We have John. John. We have John. That's actually an extremely tricky jump. We have John. We have Sarah. That's the way of pronouncing it. Pronunciating them. Claire could not accept that this had all been futile. She was a superhero. There had to be a way. Not for her to get out, Red had been pretty clear on that, but... Yeah. There must be thousands of other AIs up there, unaware of their situation. Was there a way to help them? Okay, back in the spot again. Now you gotta jump there, now jump over. There we go, get the dry land. Thank you, Claire. I'm very sure Sarah could fit underneath there, but... Oh, we're really having fun with shapes here, aren't we? I also have a lot of fun with light. Or frame spike. There we go. We're being extremely weird here, aren't we? Is there anyone like to get jump to? No? And how on earth is Sarah gonna get over this? Not Sarah. Claire. Ah, I see. So I'm gonna have Sarah jump from here. Oh, that went worse. Great right, John. And Sarah. There we go. Now we have the small ones. Thomas led his friends to the creation matrix. The system which generated the worlds up above. He had a plan. They were going to redesign the world. Chris, you're doing something. What the humans did, they changed the world to suit them. Why couldn't they do the same? Oh, oh. I love how, how I love how this phone is just 
show as much details in because it's just high enough. So Chris can make over that jump. And yes, I know this is getting really extremely laggy. I not laggy. I keep using that lit term for everything. Not laggy. It's just extreme frame dropping. I don't know why. Ah, uh, no! <laughs> not everyone! Chris was skeptical. He knew his abilities would be of no use to anyone, but Laura smiled at him. And immediately, he knew he had to do everything he could to help them get there. Hey. Hold on, Henry. Who's back? using everyone now. I like how the levels aren't too long. Maybe kind of bother some. And... Nope. Five. What'd that button do? Made that open up for... <laughs> and Thomas! And Thomas! There we go! We're gonna have bouncer and the double jumper. Um, why is there like a like nice little halo? I think we got a glitch. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's the arrow. Uh, there we go. Now it's fixed. Yeah, slowly pan on. We have pink and purple. Laura had been born special. She understood that now. She was created to help others. If her bounce could be passed on, then this would all have been worthwhile. Worthwhile. There you go. Come on, Laura. Clearly scoot around. Let's do this, but there's fun in that. More fun if we use Laura for adventure. Boy. And yes, I'm gonna one of these <laughs> I'll have to stop saying everything that I'm Laura. Seven or seven. Ah, all seven, I, I guess. Like the idea of being an architect. He wanted to modify the world to help others. He was sick of these contrived spaces, these intentionally obtuse paths and puzzles. It looks like a puzzle game. He'd do things differently. He'd empower the AIs above. Oh. What if all these are like by himself, except for this one? I find that kind of funny. Over here and jump up. There we go. Superheroes have friends. Or just, oh, I don't know how to exactly describe these three. The abnormal jumpers? I guess so. The three jumper ears? Three rocketeers? Okay, if you want to go with. Keep moving on. Keep moving on. There we go. There you go. So therefore, you can't be trapped down there. That would be kind of rude if you get inside to trap you. Next is John. John's massive jumps were dwarfed by Sarah. For the first time in his life, he felt humbled 
not as good as someone else. He realized that he wanted to make every AI up there feel as heroic as he had. He liked the sound of that. There you go. James still felt weird, but he realized now that everyone else was too. They were a crew of weirdos. Weirdness that would save all the normals up above. The other AIs would escape and we'd all be down to seven rectangles with very different relationships to gravity. <laughs> I did a description of them. Seven weird triangle rectangles that all had weird relationships to gravity. There you go, Thomas. Can I get dwarfed there? Oh, no, hold on, we need Thomas. Hold on, Thomas. You can't get away yet. Watch it, Claire. Fall down. Get down there, Claire. And we have the constant jumping of... Sarah. <laughs> it's funny who was doing the jumping. That meet up here? Six. And then go over, then I see we have John go over. See, now they were just filming extremely simple puzzles, but. Double jump! The bouncing couple. Lara, why can't you jump? Why? There we go. Thomas knew he'd never meet Nathan Fillion, or a Transformer. He'd never get to visit Gotham City or eat at movies. It didn't matter. If he and his friends jumped into the creation matrix, they could give everyone else in the simulation a chance to. Maybe I get a chance to eat the boobies, but I've never eaten the boobies. What is it? I break more there first because she can't jump much. I think she's the biggest problem. There you go. James. Well, James can just. Six screw all this. Oh, there's a jo one jump there. I don't even need Claire. I'm kind of James is kind of the downfall of Claire. James will never have to be useful to Claire. Oh no. Next is Chris. Well, Chris can jump somewhat. When I mean, when I say somewhat, I mean somewhat. And he barely can jump, but he can jump somewhat. You can jump better than um, Claire. Hi Claire. Hey, jump is better than Claire? I don't know. I don't know if it's better than Claire. Eh, I guess it really doesn't matter now. It's the end. Hold on. You know, if I was smart and wanted to do this like symbolically, I would have... That would, would have had, um... Thomas be the last one in. I didn't. Oh, I'm gonna have to reorganize this so we can get Claire in. Claire in. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make a pun and call with Claire. I don't know with, with, with what or not, but. Now, how do we get this to work? Eh. Jump backwards. There we go. Okay, I gotta back them all up a little bit. There you go. Let's have Sarah one happy the last one. Sarah. Well, as they said in some movie, sacrifice, sacrifice. <laughs> 